an ice skating rink, 26 luxury restaurants, full basketball, soccer, and volleyball courts, a park, zip line, 21 pools, including a wake pool, and much, much more. This is all found on the most expensive cruise ship in the world. This cruise ship is the allure of the seas, and it was built by the Royal Caribbean in 2010 at a cost of $1.4 billion. It includes five dining rooms and its interiors, a concierge club, theater, library, and even a business center. In terms of their accommodation, the top suite, the Royal Loft Suite, features spacious living areas, tall ceilings, and balconies that offer a one-of-a-kind view of the sea, with their windows that stand from ceiling to floor. One of the best features that Allure of the Seas has to offer is their Central Park. There are many green aesthetics from the trees, plants, and landscapes. It really feels like you are walking in a park in the middle of a city. Here, you can visit places to relax, or you can dine in Giovanni's Table Restaurant, or get a little tipsy at Vintage's Wine Bar. If you are in the mood to go shopping, you can visit the Parkside Gallery Boutique Shopping Area, Park Cafe Gourmet Market, and a Portrait Studio. They also have this deck called the Royal Promenade. Here, people can enjoy quality time drinking coffee, having a lunch out, go shopping, or enjoy the very lively nightlife. Boutiques on this deck include the On Air Club, where you can gather your family and friends to sing along with the karaoke or watch live soccer matches, Starbucks, the world-renowned coffee place, a British pub, shop, cafe, and even designer stores such as Michael Coors and Kate Spade. On this floor, we can feel its high-class, elegant, and extravagant atmosphere with its dashing lights, unique structures, and of course, classy stores such as jewelry shops, restaurants, and bars. Decks five and six have the Vitality at Sea Spa and Fitness Center. The Fitness Center caters to studio fitness and even has yoga classes. At the spa, they have massage areas, a beauty salon, and thermal suites such as saunas and steam rooms. Moving on to deck 16, it is here where we can locate the pool area and the sports amenities. Knowing the great space that this deck offers, they were able to construct numerous pools and hot tubs that can accommodate pool goers of any age. Alongside the pools, of course, there are bars and lounges where passengers can unwind and relax. As for the sports area, there is a zip line located at the mid-air portion of this deck, a basketball court, tables for table tennis, volleyball courts, two surf simulators, and a miniature golf course. I think it's safe to say that it will be difficult to get bored if you take a cruise on this ship. Here on deck six, there are climbing walls, a carousel, an aqua theater, and many restaurants. Deck two, on the other hand, has a casino, a theater that accommodates up to 1,380 seats, a lounge for jazz and blues music lovers, ice shows, live comedies, and nightclubs for those who want to enjoy the live nightlife that the ship offers. Additionally, there is also an area dedicated to the kids and teens aboard called the Youth Zone, because it's not a vacation if you're with your kids the whole time. There is an open gym area for random activities, a science laboratory for sciences, and a workshop space for those interested in arts and crafts. The ship has 16 passenger decks, a capacity of 5,400 people, and has a total of 2,704 rooms available. The different rooms available are the Royal Suite, Presidential Suite, Owner Suite, the Grand Suite, and Junior Suite. Each type offers various amenities, designs, and views. Now, with all these great facilities, how much do the shipping tickets cost? Well, to answer that question, they charge between $277 to $865 per passenger. But those prices are only the average. It will cost you much more than that depending on how many add-ons and upgrades you get, such as the chosen room category, quality of your view, if you want a balcony or not, and so on. The more days you want to book and the more places the cruise ship will visit, the more costly the shipping ticket will be. For example, 
the $865 average ticket allows the passenger to stay for eight nights and it sails along Fort Lauderdale, Florida, then to the perfect day at Coco Key in the Bahamas, then to Orangestad, Aruba, then to Willemstad, Caraco, and then finally back to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And for those going the cheaper route, the $277 ticket allows the passenger to stay at the cruise ship for four nights. It tours Fort Lauderdale, Florida to Cozumel, Mexico, and then back to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Similar to the previous ticket, as mentioned earlier, the pricing also depends on the chosen room category. Usually, they will charge you a lot more if you would like all of the top amenities. Now, what about the ship itself? Its average cruising speed is 22 knots, or 41 kilometers per hour. The ship is powered up with Wurtzelia engines and has a power of 20 megawatts. Its length is 361 meters, or 1,184 feet. Its height is an estimated 65 meters, or 213 feet high. Lastly, for its deck space, it is approximately 250,000 square meters. But I'm sure you're not too surprised by that after we have just finished going through all that the ship has to offer. So, what do you think of Allure of the Seas? Do you think it's worth the price tag of $1.4 billion that the Royal Caribbean paid for it? Giant cruise ships are marvels of modern engineering, towering over the sea with their impressive size and luxurious amenities. These floating cities offer passengers the opportunity to explore exotic destinations while enjoying all the comforts of home. From gourmet dining to world-class entertainment, these massive vessels cater to every whim and desire. Cruise ships are large vessels designed to carry passengers in comfort and luxury across the seas and oceans. These floating cities of leisure and luxury have long been celebrated for their ability to offer a unique travel experience. Each one is packed with a huge variety of dining, entertainment, activities, and relaxation options for all ages. What happens when these giants of the sea encounter rough waters? The sheer size and weight of these ships make them incredibly resilient in the face of storms and high waves. Despite their seemingly unwieldy nature, these behemoths are designed to withstand even the most challenging weather conditions. Giants of the seas, the ships that transformed modern cruising. These ships are wide in size and made with heavy materials allowing them to handle even the most harrowing of waves. Modern aircraft are designed to withstand some of the harshest weather conditions during flights. As they navigate through choppy seas and powerful winds, giant cruise ships rely on advanced stabilization systems to keep passengers safe and comfortable. These systems work tirelessly to minimize the effects of rough seas, ensuring a smooth ride for everyone on board. Cruise ships are built to include stabilizers, which minimize the rolling, side-to-side -side leaning passengers feel in choppy seas. They are also zero speed, meaning they minimize drag by maximizing lift, greatly reducing any rolling caused by rough seas. In this article, we will delve into the world of giant cruise ships and explore how they navigate strong waves during a storm. Join us as we uncover the fascinating technology and engineering that goes into making these incredible vessels safe and seaworthy in even the most challenging conditions. The impact of strong waves on cruise ships can be a harrowing experience for both passengers and crew members. When faced with turbulent seas, these massive vessels must navigate through powerful waves that can reach heights of several meters. The force of the waves crashing against the hull of the ship cause it to sway violently from side to side, creating a sense of unease among those on board. Video footage from passengers shows large waves and high winds crashing into the cruise ship. The sudden force and height of these waves can overwhelm even large vessels, making navigation perilous. The wave strikes the ship at night and cripples the vessel, causing the boat to tip for a short period onto its side. The structural integrity of the ship is put to the test as it battles against the relentless power of the ocean. The weight and size of these giant cruise ships provide some stability, but even they are not immune to the forces of nature. In extreme cases, large waves can cause damage to the exterior of the ship, 
leading to potential leaks or other safety concerns. Despite all the structural and technical perfection, ships often fail under testing conditions. That said, cruise ships are built to withstand rough seas and large waves, and they have a balance between buoyancy and weight. The impact of a rogue wave can destabilize a ship, leading to accidents, loss of cargo, and, in extreme cases, sinking. Passengers may find themselves feeling seasick or anxious as they witness their floating home being tossed around by Mother Nature. Crew members work tirelessly to ensure the safety and well-being of everyone on board. But there is always an element of uncertainty when facing such powerful forces at sea. For passengers and spectators on the ground, strong winds which cause aircraft to sway back and forth can seem alarming and feel precarious for those on board. These comprehensive precautions are essential for maintaining the safety and security of passengers and crew members, ensuring a safe voyage through potentially dangerous waters. Overall, the impact of strong waves on cruise ships serves as a reminder of our vulnerability in the face of nature's raw power. When giant cruise ships encounter stormy weather, safety measures must be in place to ensure the well-being of passengers and crew members. One important measure is to closely monitor weather forecasts and adjust the ship's route accordingly to avoid the worst of the storm. Additionally, crew members should secure all loose items on deck and close all windows and doors to prevent water from entering the ship. Cruise lines have extensive safety protocols in place to ensure the safety of passengers and crew during storms. If a hurricane is approaching, the captain and crew will closely monitor the storm's path and adjust the ship's route as necessary. Close all hatches, doors, watertight compartments and windows to reduce the amount of water taken on board. During rough seas, passengers should be advised to stay in their cabins or designated safe areas where they can ride out the storm safely. Crew members should also be trained in emergency procedures and know how to respond quickly and effectively in case of an emergency. Earlier that day, Passengers had been told to stay in their cabins by the captain as he attempted to ride out the storm. Crew member training. Crew members receive robust training in safety, security, and first aid to prevent and respond to potential emergency situations. Furthermore, cruise ships are equipped with advanced stabilizing technology that helps minimize the impact of rough seas on the ship's movement. This technology includes stabilizers that help reduce side-to-side -side rolling motion and keep the ship steady in turbulent waters. A modern cruise ship is equipped with stabilizing technology for when it encounters rough seas. Passenger vessels are equipped with stabilizers that extend off the ship's sides to reduce the amount of rolling. Overall, safety measures for cruise ships in stormy weather are crucial for ensuring a smooth sailing experience for passengers and crew members alike. By following these measures, cruise ships can navigate strong waves with confidence and ensure everyone on board remains safe during inclement weather conditions. When faced with stormy weather and strong waves, giant cruise ships must rely on a combination of advanced technology and skilled navigation to safely navigate through the rough seas. These massive vessels are equipped with state-of-the-art stabilizers that help to reduce the impact of waves and keep the ship steady in turbulent waters. Yes, cruise ships may encounter rough seas while avoiding hurricanes. However, modern cruise ships are fully capable of handling rough seas and have highly efficient stabilizers to prevent ships from rolling. While today's purpose-built expedition ships may have oversized stabilizers to help steady them in winds and waves and strengthened hulls to protect their cargo and machinery, they are not entirely foolproof. In addition to stabilizers, modern cruise ships also utilize sophisticated weather forecasting systems that allow them to anticipate and avoid severe storms whenever possible. By carefully monitoring weather patterns and adjusting their course accordingly, cruise ship captains can steer clear of dangerous conditions and keep passengers safe. Cruise ships are equipped with sophisticated weather monitoring systems that provide real-time data about approaching storms. Cruise companies follow the weather very carefully, changing itineraries, canceling sailings, and working hard to keep passengers and crew out of harm's way. Furthermore, cruise ships are designed with reinforced hulls that are able to withstand the powerful forces of nature. This ensures that even in the most challenging conditions, the ship remains structurally sound 
and able to continue its journey without compromising the safety of those on board. When it comes to rough seas on a cruise ship, these massive vessels are well equipped to handle anything nature can throw at them. Testing during the construction phase ensures that the ship can remain buoyant and not capsize in the event of poor weather. Overall, navigating through rough seas is a complex task that requires a combination of technology, experience, and skill. By employing these various strategies, cruise ships are able to confidently sail through stormy weather while ensuring the comfort and safety of their passengers. Oh, my God. 